Well, Lisa Fernandez is taking a very well-deserved break at the moment. So all this week, we are welcoming some very special guests here on Today Perth News. This morning, we are saying hello to Joel Gelding from Nova. Joel, good morning to you. How are you? Hey, Tim. Morning to you, mate. I'm good. I don't want to scare you this morning. I'm yeah. not a vampire. I do have a pale complexion, but uh, I'm in East Fremantle this morning. <laughs> it's eight degrees. Oh, well, you're it's, doing uh, well, nice man. It's only six in the city. Uh, my hands are stuck like this, so I'm not sure what to do with them. But uh, it's going to be hard to get a coffee this morning because where we are is May Street Larder uh, in East Fremantle, one of the hot spots of WA. If you haven't seen this place before, it's absolutely amazing. The food is so good here. And while you're in your toasty studio, Tim, with your big newsreader jacket all nice and warm, <laughs> I'm going to be in there in just a moment getting uh, stuck into some of those nice tasty muffins. We're going to have a fresh coffee real soon. And I'm actually going to have a special guest with me real soon to talk about their menu and some of the exciting things that are going to be happening here soon. So we'll uh, chat about that in just a moment. Mate, you're doing well picking up from uh, where Lisa left off and uh, taunting me with food. So well done. We'll catch you yeah, soon. Yeah, hands are getting a little bit warmer. Good stuff. Thanks, Joel. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Let's go back to East Frio now, where our special guest this morning, Eamon Sullivan, is apparently still fast asleep, but Joel Gelding from Nova is there. Joel, you've got an exciting announcement for the foodies out there, regardless. Yeah, Tim, uh, we are at May Street Larder, uh, Eamon Sullivan's uh, cafe slash restaurant that he owns, and he was meant to be sitting right next to me chatting about his silver medal, his Clio <laughs> Bachelor of the Year award, his Celebrity MasterChef award, but uh, unfortunately he slept in, so I've got the next best thing. Uh, I've got Alex, who's the manager of May Street Larder, who joins me, mate. So good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's a regular thing when you catch up with Eamon, like, hey, come yeah. down for a chat. And, yeah, uh, about half an hour late. Half an hour late? <laughs> well, he might pop in in about half an hour, but uh, you're obviously going to be the next best person to speak to, apart yep. from the owner, because yeah. you run the place. Yep. Um, I've, I've actually, I've eaten here. Uh, the food is delicious, and uh, you've obviously got a bit of a, a soul food influence, because the food that I had, was fried chicken on waffles. Polenta waffles, yeah. Yeah. I mean, anytime you can have fried chicken for breakfast and put it on a menu, I can order. That's and you always can get away with it. It's pretty good. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the menu and uh, where it gets that influence from. Yeah, so um, it's it's based on healthy food. Uh, we, we do have a couple of, um, like, chicken waffles just so people can get away with it. Yeah. Um, then on when we're up for dinner time, uh, it's going to be like a pop-up restaurant for, for about three months. Right, well that's been the big announcement, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, you guys are going to be doing dinner soon. Yep. So is the, obviously the soul food is going gonna, is gonna to continue into the dinner menu? Yeah, so we, we put a thing on Instagram to see what the customers wanted. Okay. Um, so soul food was the most popular. And how long is that going to run for? It's going to run for three months. Yeah. And then we'll change it to the, the next thing that Instagram votes for. Right, so Instagram voters are going to get to choose yeah. the next menu. All our social media fans. Okay, what if it's like a, a cheeseburger or something? Like you're... That's what they want? That's okay. what they get? What's, uh, what are some, maybe some of the ideas that they're throwing out yeah, there? Yeah, so we've got like Mexican um, for the soul food one yep. coming up. Yeah. So we've got um, like Sloppy Joe's are going to be on the menu. Yeah. Um, got some uh, the chicken waffles again. Okay. And when that wraps up in three months' time, yep. any ideas on what the next one might be? Yeah, I mean, it could be anything from Mexican to Asian fusion okay. to maybe even French. What about you, Tim? Any votes that you're going to get on Instagram for? What do you think no, you my, might my the taste buds are, uh, are limbering up at the moment, so I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm still trying to get my head around the uh, fried chicken on a waffle for, for breakfast. You have to try it. It is seriously delicious. We might have to maybe sneak that out for yeah. Tim to sort of start uh, staring at. We've got a couple of uh, muffins, actually. Steph, if you want to bring some over there. Sorry to make you jealous already, Tim, but the coffees yeah. have come out. We've got Mate, a couple of, of delicious You're muffins. Doing it well. So we got the... Uh, yeah. What do we got here, Alex? We've got a uh, chorizo brioche, and then we've got a strawberry and rhubarb muffin, all made just hours ago. Pretty delicious. We're going to get stuck into these. Obviously not so by We're going to cross back to you a little bit later on. Eamon Sullivan's going to be here, maybe. We'll just talk about his <laughs> swimming career a little bit later on. I think I've heard he might be on the way. Yeah, yeah. well... Your restaurant's doing well, Eamon. We'll hang out. Maybe he's swimming there, mate. He's just going against the current right now. <laughs> he might give be him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, <laughs> taking a wrong turn at Scarborough. Yeah.